Tanisha with Enlightened Mystics Essentials. And today we are going to uh, get some messages and directions for the Aquarius moon that is upon us. With this Aquarius moon, there there's going to be like a lot of ideas um, forming in many, many, many people's heads, right? Um, but with these ideas coming, there may, may be some type of confusion, right? But we are going to get messages and directions upon this Aquarius moon because we are in Leo sun, but Aquarius moon. So when you speak Leo, Leo sun, you know, that's like double fire because Leos come in as a fire sign and it's our sun sign at this time. So there's going to be a lot of um, drives being heightened within people. A lot of people wanting to succeed. A lot of motivation, right? And what's going to uh, amplify this Aquarius moon is the spark of these ideas or the enlightenment that comes in in our logic, right? So... There's going to be four signs, four out of the 12, that literally is going to come in and may take a loss with um, outside relationships or people that they, in, they are involved in outside of themselves. And at my website, enlightenmystic.org, I will be... Um, discussing those four signs that are going to suffer a hardship at this time if they are not already right because leading up to this um aquarius moon a lot of you may have already started to experience some type of breakdown from um the 11th and it's gonna last from the 11th to the 18th of august so go to my website and check out the Aquarius moon reading, and I'll give you the four signs that are going to go through a hardship or um, a hard time, right? We're trying to uh, hold relationships, friendships, could be work, jobs, you know, families together, because this is what this moon is bringing in, okay? So let's go. Spirit, for all of those who will see this video, right? What are the messages and directions in which they must take according to the Aquarius moon? You got two so fast. Okay. One face up, one face down. One face up, one face down. Right. So the one that's face up is the water guardian. It says connect with your emotions. See that? What you can feel, right? What is real. But what you do not see. Or you may not know that was face down is this hunter, right? Coming in and it says tracking down fears and desires, right? So going with your feelings, right? To address the issue of fears or desires. And right now we are doing our fears, block holes, and regrets readings for all signs for the month of August. So still right on time, right? And another message spirit or direction. The Aquarius moon that all will face. Thank you. Two more. Two more. Both are face down. Both are face down, right? So the first one, it says high priest, right? High priest. Yeah. It says intend and create. Intend and create. And the high priest has the... um eagle here um that represents um higher knowing or the all seeing right all right intent and create right but what is being intended or what is being created someone is not going right see the back is towards right the shiloh and master be graceful in movement and action so some of you are going to manifest and create, but they're saying that you must be careful in the ways or the direction in which you create, right? 
And there also could be a message here where they're telling you, you must intend and create to create the desires you want or to remove the blocks of fears because the high priestess is going towards this hunter. And then they come in and say, don't forget to be graceful in movement and action, right? So just keep that in mind. Let's get some energy. Spirit, what is the energy here for the water guardian connecting with your emotions towards the hunter of tracking down fears and desires that came out quick? Second chakra, baby. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Second chakra. And if you are new to my channel, I am a person who reads numbers, colors, and talks to spirits. And for the energy of the high priest and the Shiloh Lin master. All right, we in limbo here. Some type of anxiety is in limbo. This can be a good thing, right? But at the same time, it can be a not so good thing. Because they're telling us where someone needs to have their focus, right? Not to necessarily say that you need to be worried about a situation, right? But you need to be paying attention because in the background, a storm is coming. See the lightning? Some type of surprise is upon you. Something that is shocking is upon you and you don't see it because your head is down. So in this situation, when you cannot go with your logic, you must go with your feelings, right? Feelings. So you got anxiety in limbo and then some of you are in and out, in and out because this is an energy of in and out. Sometimes I worry. Sometimes I say forget it and I just pull back. I don't want to think about it. I'm not going to deal with it. See? Let's go spirit, doorway, gateway, spirit. Spirit, what cannot be seen in the physical, but is there in the spiritual for the water guardian and the hunter? Came out fast. Okay, let's go. That shake up, that shake down. The cosmos coming in with a change. Representing vastness and creativity. Right? You're going to learn something. There's a breakthrough here. Yep, a breakthrough is coming in. Yes. But you must be prepared. Because it's all about feelings. Feelings. With the water guardian in this second chakra, it's a feel. You must feel your way through or you must have a feeling to want to manifest what you desire. Or you must want to manifest, tear down any type of blocks, fears, holes, or regrets that may be stopping you from getting what you desire or what you deserve or what you want, right? And for the high priest and his Shiloh and master spirit, what cannot be seen in the physical, <laughs> but is there in the spiritual, you receive too. Both of them fell out over this limbo and, I, and, and you know, this anxiety and limbo, right? Changes is coming in because you received what you do not see. The chess queen towards the lady of the gift. Let's go representing five changes. Trusting in the strategy of spirit to make your moves for you towards leading you towards a gift. But the thing about this gift, this gift can be given. This gift can be blocked or this gift can be taken away, withdrawn. There's a change here, right? A change, a mental change. You must see things for what they truly are, spirit says, right? So let's get into your first message. Water guardian, right? Coming in as blue and white. Mm -hmm. And you got a little brown here as well because the hair of the water guardian is brown and blue. So it talks about the purity and the clarity of the white, right? Upon the blue, which is the color of being calm, being relaxed, being stable, right? And the brown represents you accepting or you rejecting this situation, right? So the purity and the clarity of being calm and relaxed, right? No need to worry, right? Towards, see, towards, because the water, water guardian goes towards tracking down your fears and desires in the hunter. Now, if you look at the hunter very carefully, you will see that same blue that the water guardian has upon the walls and on the guardian all on the arm all on the face 
But see this water guardian, right? No, the um hunter comes in, right? As the um like a deer or a goat that represents the energy of life. So they tell us in your life, right? The fears and your desires that have been created it is time for you to face up and go with how you feel upon the situation, right? And it's still all about accepting or rejecting because in the hunter, there's a lot of brown, right? A lot of brown. The main colors are brown, black, and blue. Being calm and relaxed, that's the blue, mm -hmm. as you face, right? darkness or weakness that's the black or banishment that is also the black upon you accepting or rejecting so everything falls upon the brown will you accept or will you reject this see right what do you want what do you what do you desire right then they come in and they tell us second crown chakra personal clarity coming in as a nine what is the nine the divine is calling for your attention to a person, which would be your um chakra, right? Your second chakra that is within you and a situation, right? Getting these emotions together about what you desire or what you want to clear away as far as a block or a fear. And then they say, once you face up, right, and get everything in order, the divines come in and then they grant you wishes they bring forth change right literally the moon right comes in and spills out change upon the earth shooting star wishes are fulfilled right and then it's gonna be a mass change upon many of people because they say vastness and creativity right and then the main colors of this card right is white blue and gray the purity in the clarity of the blue, right? To be calm and relax, right? Upon the changes, right? Of the divines or the cosmos out of a state of confusion. That is the great. So what will you choose here? And then all together, the whole situation is still a five. The creation of change, right? The creation of change is here. If you desire it, and they keep saying, whatever your desires are, whatever you desire, right? Whatever you desire. So let's see. Let's get some insight. Spirit, what is the insight here for the water guardian and the hunter or toward the hunter? For all of those who are seeking, watching, needing a message, needing to hear, feel, see, and understand the message. What is the insight here? Ooh, on top of you, literally. Now, it's tricky because, see, it, fl it flies on top of the recording device, but I don't want to hit a button because it'll cut off. Individuality it is upon everybody's decision, everybody's choice, right? Upon you. And this comes in as a two, right? Doorway, gateways, right? Thresholds choices options decisions it's all upon you right communication factors of conversating and debating what is the conversating the talking right the agreements and the understanding of communication the debating side of communication is the fighting the yelling the arguing law enforcement being called out negotiations where someone could be having to go to court you see but it also talks about two connecting factors two connecting factors see the water guardian and the hunter or the two becoming one which would be this whatever your personal desires whatever you personally desire for yourself or for your life or for your family right the divines come in and they create change the two becoming one mm -hmm. see All right so they tell us someone here is wounded coming in as a feminine energy wounded why are you wounded here because someone needs to know that it is time right to 
go with the emotions of what you must hunt down whether it you whether it be you hunting down your desires that means you track it you set that goal you go for it right or someone has to have the feeling make up their mind because it's brown here right to go after the fears those blocks those holes and tear down that wall so all good things can come towards you or so you can you know, grow up your energy, blow up your energy, bubble up and just go forward, right? Clearing the way. Now, here is a bird. Birds represent messages and communication. And this bird is orange. And orange represents the way being cleared. Yes. For some type of message and communication to come in to do what? Move forward, right? If you, that's your desire, right? Or to attract what you desire or to tear down that wall. If you feel like someone is blocking you or someone has manifested against you, tear down that wall. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, right? So now you have a nine, a five, and a two. Seven, right? Nine, 16, seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Everything here is speaking to you. If you're still here watching this video, this is your message. Yeah, let's go. So let's look. Let's start to break everything down, right? Your message, your communication. This video serves as your message to go forward. So spirit, why is the water guardian and the hunter here for all to see? Let's see. Time to break down the walls or go after what you want, baby. The creation, the three of abundance. See, the creation of abundance. And even here, there is water. Water does not only speak of emotions. Water also talks about what needs to be cleansed, washed, purified? Who needs to be washed, cleansed, or purified, right? And it also talks about the rejuvenation of life, that bounce back the life. Without water, there is no life. And long as there is water, there's always life. Water, baby. And this comes in, right, as water element cups three of cups which represents abundance some of you are going to get that spark during this time of um the aquarius moon and you're going to go after it you're going to go after it let's look at the cosmos the cosmos let's look at the cosmos you have a lot of blue here that is good right but when you start getting into this shaky situation is when you start getting into those browns and those grays and even with this second chakra, the main colors here are gold and orange. The illumination, more orange, of the way being cleared, the way being open. So you receive orange in your second chakra, and then communication coming in, orange bird. Oh yeah, and then they so they both surround the cosmos. So they're telling you a divine message is coming in, and this video may serve as your divine message. Yes. And then they tell us everything here is the seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Who don't want it? I want all of mine. Spirit clarify cosmos. Why is cosmos here? Thank you. They're coming out quick. Substance. Nine cups, baby. In the regular tarot deck, that's happiness. Y'all better get with me. Happiness. That's wrong. Upside down. Sorry. Nine of cups represents happiness. You see? happiness now let's look at everyone right spirit why is individuality here for all to see thank you oh there's a bridge here there's a bridge y'all know i love the bridges here's your bridge right so you got the nine of cups right happiness bridging over right and this is the six of cups, but it represents memories. And if you notice, everything that has came out as, as a clarification has all been cups, okay? 
So you have the Six of Cups talks about memories towards you. You see that? So what they tell us is you are either going to have a feeling, right? Where you say, you know what? I no longer want to stay in this position. Mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling or I, I have, you know, a, a strong urge or a pull because water also talks about that too. Because, you know, when you think about a whirlpool in the ocean, it pulls you down, correct? Or when, like, say that whirlpool is ending, it pushes everything up and releases everything, correct? So there has either been a pull down or a releasing which would be a push forward up for you to feel in your feelings, right? Or in your life, right? To say, I don't want to stay stuck. I don't want to go through what I've been through, right? And they tell you that it's time to use your experience of life as a testimony or as a um, crutch to, to do better, right? You know how they say, if some people knew better, they'll do better. No, that's not always true. But here for you, truth move forward right or when you talk about desires right wanting better and you know the only way to receive better right is to go and get right go get what is better for you or what is best for you right we're gonna break this down this bridge so when you talk about that hunt hunting down your fears you're either gonna stay stuck in the past and not move forward but they keep telling you break down that wall correct and for those who desire more you're gonna move and get what you deserve what you desire what you're willing to work for is that upside down no it's not six of cups but the main see the main situation that's going on here it's all about the nine of cups it's all about the nine of cups right two eight no eight of cups yep nine yeah right yeah nine eight of cups what is the eight of cups the eight of cups is for those who will not face their fears they will walk away and at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you walk away or not your fear still remains correct it will not move or be banished until you face it and for those that are tracking down what they desire a new plan is coming in for you eight of cups because the eight of cups talks about someone walking away in some decks and in other decks they talk about the um new plan being given spiritually so what will you do and i mean as for me i'm gonna face my fears when they come because what they say that's water up under the bridge that's why all them fears gonna be up on oh under the bridge in the water under the bridge and i'm gonna cross that bridge to get to what i desire every day if i have to whether i have to look down and see it or look forward I, it doesn't matter to me because i know the only way to get over is to face it and if you don't face it there's no getting past it there's no getting over it some of you need to put your crowns on it's time right uh -huh. Leah hasn't talked about crown wearing in a minute because a lot of you literally put that crown on and did your thing, but some of you have laid your crown down. Time to pick it up. Boss up. Face up. Right? So let's look at these six of cups coming in here in uh, limbo, creating the crossing. What needs to be crossed? From you must, you must face these memories or the six of cups of leaving someone in the past or something in the past right to get towards your happiness nine of cups that the divines of the cosmos is creating honey who don't want it it's here for the taking it is here for the taking and it's and it's here for all because all is going to fall up under the moon correct long as you are um, walking or you are upon the face of this earth you are going to experience this moon cycle yeah spirit clarify the six of cups in limbo what is these memories thank you stability or a relationship partnership some type of bondship all right stability 
you must face up to the six of cups if you want stability, right? If you want a firm foundation, if you want a solid relationship, if you want to be partnered, because those two people that's there, they're not necessarily married. They're talking about the two connecting factors of two. Sometimes the two becoming one. See that? Right? Home. Anything with four walls, any type of building, any type of school. What do you desire? Plain and simple. Yeah. You either going to track down your fears or your desires. What are you doing? Clarify the four staff, spirit. Not hard to do. Put on your little brave suit and face up. I'm telling you. So between your nine of cups and your three of cups, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They tell us will a fortune. Faded events, baby. You are literally being put in a position where you can gain abundance or happiness. Who don't want it? Major events, right? Are starting to unfold. And, and in these um fear blocks, holes, and regrets, you know, readings, I'm letting you guys know everybody is going through a shift. The whole world is up under a shift. Yeah. Let's go underneath the deck because it's like self-explanatory, right? You either want stability in a relationship, foundation, a home, a structure of a building could be a school, right? Someone wants to go to school. Someone wants to have a home. Someone wants, someone wants to have stability, whether it be stability of themselves or the relationship of another or a partnership, friendship, right? Some type of investment ship, the bonding of two, right? And then they say all things are changing. All things are shifting, right? Why though? Why? Because abundance is coming and abundance is being created for your happiness. Not hard. Not hard. We didn't receive no devil around here. No type of blocks. Nothing. Yeah. And this is the time of creation with this moon cycle. Spirit, let's go. Underneath the deck. Five of swords. Someone is walking away from an indecision, but they carry the heartbreak, right? What are they walking away from? The indecision of a loss. I will take my losses. I will cut my losses and just leave, see, right? Because someone has been holding back because they have been pondering in their mind, see? Four of coins, two of swords. Now, let me show you how confusion has been here the whole time. You walk upon gray grounds. Gray represents confusion. Gray comes out here in this tracking down, right? Wasn't that the gray? Let me see. Black, gray, and blue. And he's tracking down these fields and these desires. Here's the gray. Grounds of confusion. Someone walks away. And in their mind, see that up, up top in the sky, confusion surrounds something very valuable. Ace of coin here. See? Let's see. Yeah. Someone is making their choice making that decision, I must walk away. And even if you do not know where you're going, but because the fact that you're up walking away, that's the first step, moving in the right direction. Why? Because here you are on the ground. Now someone say, oh, I got to get up out of that. I take my losses and I just leave. See that? But why? Because someone had a spark, right? See that goal upon the forehead? The illumination, a spark of the mind, of the logic, yeah? To do what? Move forward. You may be hurt, you may be brokenhearted, or you may have suffered hard, H-A-R-D, breaks, okay? But you're getting up out of that because you wear the orange, the way being clear, the way being open. And I say a lot of you may not know the direction you're going because you walk upon the ground of confusion. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I must leave. I must go. I must track down these fears and these desires. And when you talk about your feelings with the three of cups, nine of cups, and the six of cups, these is where the cup cards come in at. Feelings of water, water guardian. Here every day, all day. Yeah, right? See? Everything's falling into place. And then they tell us 
why someone gained their spark, right, in their mind to get up and walk away. Because it was a conflict of action. See that? Five of staff. Fighting, right? Circle of rotation. But at the end of the day, no movement. And we know that because they tell us you are upon the ground. But now someone has made their mind, oh, I got to get up. I got to go. Uh-huh. Right? What was it a conflict in or what was the conflict involving the two of cups? Now, the two of cups doesn't necessarily have to re represent like a relationship, but it talks about connecting factors of two. And sometimes the two connecting factors becoming one relationships, partnerships, friendships, see partnerships, partnership, love, relationships, same sex. It don't matter. Somebody said there was a problem here. So now they tell us why someone is going to look for stability or a solid partnership relationship you know, friendship, because it was a problem or a block within the one that they was in, see? And then they say, single and independent, see that? Single and independent, the creation, right? No, the um holding back of changes. So now they're telling us where someone was once stuck, yes? See that? Four of coins, four of coins, honey, four of coins, yeah? You was down on the ground. The creation of holding back, that holding back changes. Five of coins. What is the five of coins? A loss. Because altogether, there was a loss. But why was you going through, right? You're standing tall because you decided to walk away from a loss, correct? Why now? Why? Because they tell us you have learned, right, to overstep a low energy, negativity, drama, Anything that's going to hold you down. You see that snake on the ground? Anything that's going to cause you pain, sadness, trouble? Oh, no, I'm not with that. And then they say incoming is another bird. See that? Messages. This bird comes in and talks about love or defeat or even blood because you can receive a message from your family. That would be blood, right? And see, if a, if a message of defeat comes in and you stay stuck, yeah, you're going to stay holding back change because you're not overstepping the low energy of the snake. See? So once you learn how to overstep any type of blocks, holes, negativity, drama, that he say, she say, any type of conflict, right? When you learn to overstep it, that's when changes come forward. Five of coins, right? Changes. See that? Five of coins. What's, what, when, when you was experiencing this loss, you were holding there. They were they were saying, oh, you being held, you know, you being held back. But now the divine say, oh, no, baby. Time to shake this up, turn this thing around, and then, boom, you're on the wheel. And then they tell us when that wheel get to turning, what is it? What's the Tina Turner song? Uh, wheels keep on turning. That song right there? Boom. The big wheel never stops turning. But anyway, it was like a um, metaphor between the world, like life never stops, a cycle within a cycle of life. That mandala keeps going. Then they say recovery is here. Thank you. Yes, recovery is here for you because you have learned how to overstep the boundaries of low energy snake, right? Anything that was negative, any type of like somebody coming, they trying to tell you, oh, did you hear what Abigail said in the office? Listen, I'm bigger than that. I come to work to get paid because I have bills not to entertain that bull. And that's what that snake is. You have to learn how to know when to speak and when to listen. See? And then you say, I don't have time for that. And then they tell us someone hangs up the three of swords. But you just said you was walking away with them, correct? Oh. And once you hang up the heartbreak you have to face truth right the creation the three blocks of the white see the white the three of the three white blocks of purity and clarity of you facing the tr divine truth or truth to know when to cut someone off or when to let the divine speak to you okay so you got it so i'm gonna keep going because i want to know what is in this recovery factor for you right let's keep pulling because we're underneath the deck, see? Leaving someone in the past. 
Yeah, because you know why? There was a conflict here, remember? In the old relationship. And then they said, you, you move forward. Let me show you. You move forward out of that. Kept on moving right on past it. Woo! Six of swords, right? Now I'm going to show you something else now. You were unsure about the indecision. Two of swords came up again. Because don't forget, them two of swords came up on the ground of confusion, right? <sighs> unsure about your journey, right? Unsure about your direction. But now you moving. But now someone has planted a seed in their head. I'm not sure if I'm going the right direction. I don't know if I'm going to find love this way. I'm going to find defeat. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. Recovery is here. Four swords in the boat, right? And isn't it funny how the boat is golden orange just like someone had the spark in their head? Oh, water's in the background here, but now someone travels upon the water. Anytime you travel upon the water, that's a baptism. Mm-hmm. Being purified, cleansed, and free and clear. So there's no defeat here in the movement, right? And you may have to be careful because the sky is also gray. But there's going to be a time of calming that down because when you travel upon the waters, there's no room for error. See? So now they say advancement, right? Advancement towards a successful completion. Beautiful. And it is in the process because the world is 20, major arcana 21, but re really breaks down as a three, the creation of a successful completion. Value in your pathway. Oh, that is the way in which you journey. Mm -hmm. Value in your hand. Any type of actions you may take upon your hand, right? You create changes upon your hand. And the tool you need to do what? Create your balance, right? Why though? Why? Because a new perspective was gained. And the perspective that you see now, oh, brings in your balance of what? The eight of cups, which is that spiritual new plan. Whether you face your fears or go after your desires. See? Eight of cups comes out again. Who don't want it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Tracking them down. Let's go. Facing up. Not hard to do. Not hard to do. It's either you will reject or you will accept. And anytime the divines come up in here and create change, <laughs> who are you to go against them? Who are you? They made their presence known twice here. Twice. And then they say, you have health. Feeling emotions. Getting your mind settled. Mm -hmm. And we bring forth a message towards you to let you know everything is going to be all right. Who is them that brings the message? Oh, okay. Why would you go against? Why? Why? Do it even make sense? No. Let's go, man. This moon coming in here, especially with this Leo sun, has a lot to bring forth and a lot to offer. But only for eight signs. The other four signs, this is the time of hardship for you. Because of the Aquarius moon. And I can tell you this, because the Aquarius moon is an air sign, all air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, it would be uh, a smart move to make sure you draw your energy from this full moon forever and always. Anytime you have a sign or a moon coming in, in a certain sign, and it falls under your element, you better power up. So all um, air signs, I believe, are clear. Let's see, yeah, yeah, I believe no air signs. So that kind of gives you a clue to uh, who's going through a hardship and who's not. No air signs. This is your time of drawing, attracting, bringing forth.
for everybody else. Sub suck your uh subject to the changes. All right. So let's get over here to your um high priest and being graceful in your actions. And they're telling you it's time to manifest and create. Time to manifest and create. Seeing things from a high perspective, right? Having a plan and everything mapped out before you start to create and manifest. And some of you will not because you turn your back here on the Shiloh and Master who knows how to balance energy in a grasshopper. <laughs> what is it? Um, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah. And some of you are in and out to worry because you don't know what what to do and your head is down and something is creeping up upon you a storm right and this storm can be anything but the thing about the storm it is always of negativity it could be drama it could be family feuds it could be um um arguments at your job arguments in your neighborhood so you must be on the lookout don't have your head down don't be la 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 in la la land because you're not in the clear here. All right? Maybe you see it, maybe you don't, maybe you feel it, maybe you won't. But then they say, don't worry, spirit has your back. Trusting in divine spirit, the creation is in the process, right? Or trusting in divine spirit mm -hmm, to make your moves for you. The main colors here is the white, the gold, and the green, the purity and the clarity. Of the illumination of the abundance of success it's the green the wealth the risk to movement forward right coming in facing the lady of the gift representing generosity receiving or withholding see that and it comes in as a two opportunity miss opportunity conversating or debating the connecting factors of two or two becoming one right but whichever way the spirit moves, that creates the change because they come in as the five. So there may be a change here for you to um, be mindful of how you manifest and how you balance your energy or balance the energies of manifesting. All right? So let's see. Let's jump into it. Spirit, what is the insight for high priest and the Shiloh Lin Master for all of those who are watching this video? Why are they here together? Look, see it? See, summon. This is that calling forward. The creating state, right? A lot of you may use magic here, but you must be careful because it comes in as a four. Four talks about what needs to be accepted or rejected. How you conjure, how you create, how you manifest. How? And for the... Chess queen towards the lady of the gift spirit. Why are they here? What is this insight here? What is the insight? Thank you. See, rigid. You're either going to build that wall of weakness, rigid weakness, or they're telling you it is time to banish this wall, break it down, tear it down, right? Coming in as a three, creation, right? Creation. But all together, they tell us spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations also known as a transformation calling for spirit to a person or a situation and you would be the person here in this situation but this is the situation either you're going to add to this wall or you're going to tear it down and then there's a message another bird trying to come in and tell you about the gift whether the gift is going to be re received or withheld or you're going to accept it and it's going to be a gift of generosity see so just be careful but let's get into this limbo of this oh no i'm unsure i don't even see the storm coming i have my head down face up spirit clarify anxiety and limbo and then the thing is anxiety comes in as a nine the divine's calling for your attention attention to a person or a situation the person would be you the situation is the storm in the background but you're unsure in your face spirit why is anxiety here in limbo for all to see here why is it here 
Mm. I feel like someone is like losing control. Someone is lost. And then the thing about it, it comes out face down, right? Over anxiety. But the thing I want to let you know is a wounding is here because it's a female energy or feminine energy. And then the thing about it is the hair is black. So this could talk about some type of dark thought or weakening thought, right? Being all in your head, right? So in limbo, right? What needs to happen, right? Mastery. You need to learn how to settle down, calm down, right? These emotions, right? You need to know when to look up, when to face up also comes in as the three of coins, right? The collaboration and the working out. What must you know? Spirit is coming in. Clarify mastery. Ooh, two, over your mastery. See? The lovers needing to balance, right, relationships, not just always lover relationships, but all relationships in which that you are involved in, right? There must be a negative and a positive, right? Or for every negative, there must be a positive to balance it out. And for every positive, there must be some type of negativity to balance it out because the lovers not also representing just love relationships, but friendship, partnerships, right? Uh, situationships, bondships, right? Um, there needs to be a balance here. And then they tell us the tower is coming in. The tower, the serpent, yeah, representing the seven towards you, right? To come in and shake up everything, tear it down. But what is the tower shaking up and tearing down? What you don't see, that storm in the background. And that storm could literally be the tight tower coming in here to shake things up and tell you, hey, you need to sit up and face this, right? You need to learn how to move. You need to learn how to move, right? What is summon? Let's look up summon. I don't like summon. The summon over here feels really um like it, it possesses uh, darkness, hell. <laughs> See? Seeker of earth, which would be the page of pentacles in reverse. See that? Be careful. I don't like this. This is not someone coming in to... uh summon something to uh settle down or to create like um value anything of value this is someone conjuring up something conjuring up spirits calling them forward and that's why they say when it says intend and create have that bird's eye view needing to see from a higher perspective and what happens the um high priest falls on top of this rigid be careful be careful because somebody is creating something that is no good. Let me tell you something. When you start dealing with all these portals and these doors, if you don't know what you're doing, stay away. If you can't, if you don't have anyone to help you or guide you through, because you'll be done let something into this physical plane that we can, we cannot get rid of. And it causes everybody hell, destruction, death. Be careful. Spirit clarify summon in the seek of earth in reverse. Right? And then the seeker of earth is a two. It talks about a missed opportunity. Look, I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. See it? Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Listen, anytime you talk about the twos being in reverse, because it's a double master number 11, but it's really a two, seeker earth. This talks about missed opportunities, right? The um debating side of communication, no understanding, the fighting, the yelling, the arguing, right? No connecting factors of two. Someone staying at odds. See that? And somebody's coming forth and they're going to call forth and conjure this. They're conjuring something forward, right? You see how the feminine energy, weakness, wounding is putting that spark over there. Somebody is um creating something here that is not going to work out. And what clarifies that is somebody juggling, struggling towards their happiness. Two of coins again. See, two of coins. Uh-huh. We just had the two of coins. The seek of earth. Um, Towards the nine of cups. See that? It's going to be hard for someone to get a breakthrough here. And you may have to see someone. Let's go underneath the deck. I want to see. Someone is walking away. Someone is walking away from a loss. The same thing like our first 
part of our reading. Someone is walking away from being held back. Someone needs to get it in their head. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. Right? Then they tell us that the page of coins, right? See that? Receiving an offer is someone who has been wounded in their emotions. Yeah, and see, someone is focusing on a message here, that blue bird on that cup. But while you focus on that message, plenty is passing you by. Abundance is passing you by. All these birds, right? And then they tell us final, de final decision comes in quickly. Final judgment comes in quickly. Major, right? Major, major mm -hmm. judgment in the chariot towards someone mental. See that? Mental is next. The, the resistance, right? The fighting, the battling, the warring, the fighting back of what? Truth. Of an indecision here because the knight ace of swords and the ace of swords makes the two of swords about what though? A place of comfort. A place where someone feels comfortable or a home situation. See that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some people um here also may have someone in their home. Spirit says, look and see what wins the situation. Someone may have someone in their home that is manifesting and creating some type of hell or destruction here. Or if they're not, it's a person wanting to create um something good, but they wrong of what they doing that's why i said um if you don't know what you're doing stay away right stay away but something is changing let's see what wins the situation let's see what wins the situation and guess what no staffs are in this situation no staffs all you have is coins major cups and swords now, let me see if there's going to be any type of conflict. Five coins, four majors, three cups, and three swords. All right, gotcha. Being grounded in this situation, if this situation resonates with you, yeah. How are you going to get out of this situation? Being grounded, right? Coins, right? Creates the, the, the winning majority, right? Of major. Major grounding is necessary here, right? But there will be a conflict in some with their feelings or emotions, three of cups, and their head, their logic. See that? Three of swords. Anytime you have matching numbers at the end, this is the conflict. So it's either going to be a heart over head situation or a head over heart situation. But ultimately, what is going to win, because they always tell you majority rules, correct? is your uh majority that's the that's the majors and the ruler is being solid coins see that being grounded knowing that if you are with someone or dating someone even someone at your job because i hear people say workplace say like it is time for um people to get promotions and somebody is like really hell bent on getting that promotion you think they won't throw you under the bus to do some type of spell or have somebody do some type of spell where you fail? Better get your mind right. Anybody who is um living with someone and you feel like they're doing something to hold you back, hold you down. Because sometimes people, they don't even be really wanting you around, but they just obsessed with the money that they give you. Oh, yeah. Keep you right there. I mean, I don't seen so much in this lifetime of mine. You know, one thing I've learned from the beginning as a child never put anything past anyone because you never know what a person will do but at the same time you don't know what people do in the dark so you know how they say never um never or uh, you never know another person's resume mm -hmm. i've seen that as well people sit in your face talking your face smiling your face and the whole time they lacing you up and you don't even know right cursing you and you don't even know they don't have to be in your face to uh do a spell on you. I'm just saying. So just be careful. Just be careful how they how you call for help. Don't call forth the wrong thing and tear down this wall. That's it. Tear down this block. All right. So until I see you guys next time, right? And for the four signs that is gonna go through with this um Aquarius moon. Go to Enlightened Mystic Essentials, and it's, it'll be posted there with a reading, right? 
of directions of how to move and how to work it out, right? Um, look for the community posts. So I know exactly what type of reading you guys want for the month, right? So until I see you guys again, work it out, figure it out, and take care.